Hi everyone, so very warm welcome to the next session or next topic. So today we are going to discuss about very very important part of uh, of any tool, okay? Which is how does uh, or what are the different different kind of uh, release plans and how does we get a self help for the documentation? Very very common uh, questions, but very important. Now, what we can understand or how to actually start because in a cloud, how the release cycle is it's very different. Uh, if we compare it from the on-premise part. So what we can uh, do is let me just try to show you or start from the place where for you it's very very easy to relate it all. So what do I mean by that particular part? So let's say in case if you're not sure how to exactly start with the documentation or how can you actually uh, see what are the new features, what are the new release, so what you can do is you can just go to your tool as such in cloud integration suite, okay? So I'm sure if you click on to this particular option, which is on the right side, so here you have about and your online guide. So once you click on this about, actually it talks about might be the build as such. Now here, now let's in case if I want to see the documentation part. So you quickly click on the online guide. Now the best part here is any system you see, if you see API, you see BTP, there will be some kind of a quick link icon which will actually take you to this particular page. Okay, so here this will be like SAP integration suit where you will be able to see a lot of different different kind of information might be initial setup, development, discover, design, different different kind of features, everything. Now one more thing, one more place for a self help which I have already discussed in my other session but again I really want to stress it out. Now let's in case if you are new to SAP cloud integration suit and you are not sure like Sam, how does actually I should be able to proceed? So what you can do is, now let's say in case if you are not sure how does this converter works, which is like from JSON to XML. What you click can do is, you can just click on this question mark, which is help. Again, this kind of a page will open it out and it, it's going to point it out very specifically to the JSON to XML converter. Okay. Procedure, how does it work out, any related information any rules, any limitations, everything it will actually talk about here. Now, let's go back again to the page where we have already come here into the integration suit. I'm sure till you, uh, till this point you are, you are with me. Okay, it's very easy. Click on this online guide. You will be, uh, you will actually reach this particular page. Now, what you can do is you can just go back in this breadcrumb uh, back. You can just click on SAP integration suit. So once you come here onto this particular page, again, this page is very, very helpful because again, it talks about the service, what's new, getting started, development, security, training, migration. So there is a lot of information which is actually available here. Now, what you can do here is you can just click on what's new for SAP integration suit. So once you click here, so what you will see here, so this is maybe you can just choose the components. If you're looking for might be specific to cloud integration API, you can just choose that particular part. Now let's in case if I click on select all, I'll choose the environment. So currently uh, might be select announcement, new change features. So this is a type, then environment, you have cloud foundry and new, you know, now there are two this different, different kind of environment. Neo is SAP property, whereas the cloud foundry is more like an open source. And again, I think this is for sure will be the winner and this is going to be used in going forward cloud foundry. Now let's in case if you want to see what are the changes between October 29th to December 31st. Now you see it will uh, it will be like in, in a descending order. So last changes we have seen in December 11, 2022. So again you see here there are a lot of changes on a specific date by 11th or December 10th. Okay. Now again if you just scroll it out you will see how frequent changes will be there. So last changes was there on 10th. December. Okay. And then if you just see here, we have before that we have received the changes on November 7th, even some kind of uh, provide content. So, yeah, again, I think this is some kind of information. Again, more uh, features were released on 31st. Okay. I think maybe this, this can be some kind of announcement. Yeah. So, announcement, we can skip it. So, you see that there was a f uh, new feature release was on October 31st. So, now guys, understand this part. If you're working for the cloud-based application, you cannot just expect to have like a one documentation, just get it with it. No, this is tool is changing. I've already talked into one of my session on roadmap of SAP cloud integration suit. So if you have missed the session, go through it. Now here you will see that on 31st, there are so many features which 
which was being released so within a one month okay so you have these different different features and you can actually see how quick it is again i think the days of on premises for sure gone on how the release cycle was after one one year okay so now i think the releases are very short and it, for you it will be very very important to keep yourself updated with the new features as such okay now here uh, again there is some kind of information on adapters so in case if you're not sure about it then i think it's it's not going to help you it might be you now let's say whatever sales for receiver sales for sender microsoft dynamics in case there are different different kind of adapters so yeah we have to make sure you are updated so this is one thing which i really want to talk about today that where you can see what's new features into your sap cloud integration suite again in case if you want to view in a table format you can you can actually do that particular part in case if you want to uh, filter it out based on type might be in case if it's a announcement change or new you can also filter that particular part out here again i think very very straightforward in case if you want to download if you want to favorite if you want to share so i think everything is 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 pretty much possible here so this is what's new so make sure that anytime if you are if you're trying to follow it up on this topic make sure that you you know okay what are the different different kind of changes you are having in the sap cloud integration suite now the second important thing here is the feature scope uh, description so if i click on to this particular part so what happens is so uh, this will be like one one common page or one pdf document where you will be able to actually see all the different different kind of features okay i think everyone has their own way to do things i think i really like about reading what are the different different kind of new options which are available how does even mesh is coming out might be the emqp for sol solas pub sub plus or might be for microsoft azure service bus because again i think it's all about how do we actually integrate with different different kind of systems so again i think this kind of a documentation will be helpful and please make sure that help.sap.com forward slash doc docs sap integration suit so this will be like a one page place or one stop place where you will be able to get all the different different kind of informations for you okay so please uh, feel free to explore it out uh, in case you have any kind of questions do reach out to us we'll be happy to support you here yes so yeah i think that's for today in case you have any kind of questions uh, please feel free to reach out to me again all these links i don't think so i i, I would be might be linking into my the youtube videos but i have already shown you how exactly you can just easily navigate it out so you don't have to remember it out instead of sharing a uh, links that's always the reason just to take you from 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 the tool only so this is a trial system or or uh, what do you say a trial account which i have created on sap now in case you have a real time tenant also if you click on the icon then again you will have this kind of option available so yeah please feel free to go if there are any questions do reach out to us thank you so much